Hello and welcome to your Good Barber back office. Today we're going to cover the shipping for your products. As an e-merchant, controlling and billing the cost associated with getting your product to your clients is important. Also, a good configuration of the calculation of shipping costs is essential to optimize the profitability of your shop. Let's do it together. First, go to the menu Settings, Shipping. This is where you'll set up the shipping options and their rates. First, you'll find the address of your shop. You can change it if needed. It's used to calculate taxes and for the option in-store pickup. The in-store pickup allows your client to pay for their purchase in your app and pick them up directly in your store. If you want to offer this option, simply enable it and select the distance radius. Let's move on to the shipping zone. A shipping zone is a geographical area where a number of shipping methods are offered. They will be offered to your clients depending on their address. To add a shipping zone, click on Add Shipping Zone. Enter the name of the zone. For me, it's Europe. I select and add the countries I want to include in this zone. Voila! Now I need to select how my shipping rate will be calculated, according to the price or to the weight of my products. In both cases, the process is the same. For my shop, it will be according to the price. Click Add a Rate. Enter here a name, for example, the carrier's name. Estimated delivery time. Order minimum and maximum amount if necessary shipping rate, and the minimum amount necessary for free shipping. I'm creating now additional rates for my Europe zone. I can create as many as I want. I'm also creating another zone for the United States. Last thing, I'm creating a shipping zone for all the other countries not already included in my shipping zone. For that, I add a new zone and I select rest of the world. That's it, I've set up my shipping zone. So to recap, I have created three shipping zones. Europe zone, it includes all European countries. USA zone, it includes all the US states, and rest of the world. A client in France will have access to the rates associated with the European zone, a client in New York to the rates in the USA zone, and finally a client in Tokyo to the rates associated with the rest of the world zone. You now know how to set up your shipping zone and their shipping rates. See you soon for another tutorial. <laughs>